Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean and today we got to talk about this situation with this Beverly Hills mansion that is angering celebrities like LeBron James, Jennifer Lopez and many others because guess what? They're finally experiencing the polys that not only do they vote for, not only do they advocate for with their platforms, but they actually raise money and donate for. And these are, of course, democratic policies. And it's so funny that it's affecting them. And even given these obvious circumstances of these squatters being illegally there, California's laws are so absurd, so over the top, they can't be evicted. It's still going to take forever. It's amazing in every possible way, and we're going to get into it. But before we do, I want to thank everybody who signed up over on actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. I will give me the money. Give you, give me the money. Okay. And remind you that on Saturday, April 27th in Austin, Texas, I will be at the Vulcan Gas Company. Link to tickets, top of the description. Use code AJW for 20% off. Dollars. A nuisance in a Beverly Crest neighborhood. Squatters have turned a mansion into a party house. Police have tried and failed to shut down that party mansion since it started in October, but the hosts claim they are valid tenants. The neighborhood is home to several high profile celebrities. So right off the bat, absolutely hilarious. We have this mansion. We actually covered it very briefly on this channel before. You can see they're not taking care of it. Look at the pool. It's disgusting. It looks like seawater. And since October of last year, 2023, they've been having raging parties where they're charging admission. It's been absolutely crazy. Sometimes they start as early as two o'clock in the morning end at 9 a.m. and there's nothing the state of California can do even though again this is in a very wealthy area where celebrities like LeBron James, Jennifer Lopez and whatnot all seem to reside but the squatters rights are god tier rights they're even better than money rights so there's nothing they can do about this situation yes and mike and share some beverly crest residents tell us that they are being kept up at all hours of the night and fearing for their safety now that some squatters have moved into a vacant mansion and are throwing all night ragers with hundreds in attendance blaring music and people coming and going at all hours of the night blocking the small narrow streets up in this Beverly Crest neighborhood. A lot of shouting and laughing and drunkenness. So you absolutely gotta love this. The noise at three o'clock in the morning, the fact that these people don't even park on the property, they park all up and down this private area. And I've only been to California once, but I did take a drive through the wealthy areas. I could tell you that these are very private properties. Those gates lead to private driveways. And the fact that these people go there to get away from the filth, the riffraff, the human garbage that they see as non celebrity folk and then they have to experience them warms my heart <laughs> loud parties blaring music and people coming and going at all hours of the night blocking the small narrow streets up in this Beverly Crest neighborhood. A lot of shouting and laughing and drunkenness. Neighbors say some squatters moved into this mansion located on Beverly Grove Place in October. Now, often on this channel, I say, listen, don't laugh at other people's pain. Don't take enjoyment in this. But you know what? These are the people who donated to the candidates that allow this to go on. These are the wealthy elites who adopted these luxury beliefs of defund the police. Nobody cares about your landlord tenant dispute. Squatters have infinite super rights because honestly, they're just experiencing poverty. They're engaging with poverty. And the real issue is not the criminals that are gaming the system. It's the fact that we have an arrested poverty. Whenever anyone finds a description of what poverty is wearing, make sure you send it to LeBron James and Jennifer Lopez so that they can arrest poverty and maybe, just maybe, that will stop these parties from happening right near their multi-million dollar homes. Now, this Fox News article breaks this down in an absolutely hilarious way. It says Beverly Grove is home to the elite of the elite in California, A-list celebrities such as Jennifer Lopez and LeBron James, entrepreneurs, hedge fund investors, heiresses, and studio executives own homes in the quiet cul-de-sac that was quiet at least until the squatter showed up and started having wild parties with cocaine and orgies. Now the neighbors are fed up, even LeBron James is fed up according to New York Magazine's Curbed, and LeBron James is quote, very concerned about the situation. You also have tech entrepreneur Rick Rankin, who lived nearby, saying, I wasn't born yesterday. They're jittery. Their eyes are spinning. They were clearly on something. And one of my favorite quotes is from this unnamed producer who says, quote, who the F are these people squatting in one of the most exclusive zip codes in America? Again, 
you just got to love it. Again, you just got to enjoy it. You just got to take it in because these people are like, oh my God, the human garbage that we donated to the Democratic Party to make our state like this, we're never supposed to experience that. We're never supposed to deal with that. Squatters, that's a you problem. You get arrested in your home in New York because your parents died and some scammer moved in. That's not something that we deal with over here. That That's something that you deal with while we keep chucking money into the pockets of the Democratic Party. And drug use in this neighborhood, open and degenerate style, dirtying up the streets, that's for your streets, your public centers, your big cities, not for our private home away from the riffraff and from the garbage. You got to love these kind of moments, these kind of quotes, these kind of moments of clarity. And honestly, the fact that it's happening here might actually produce some change in the law. It might be possible. Now, another quote that I absolutely love is another producer said that one of the squatters walked walked up to him and greeted him and said, quote, hi, I'm your new neighbor when he brought police over to the residence. He said, quote, you're not my new neighbor. Go F yourself. And what's amazing about this is that, of course, what we hear from the regular ordinary folks is that this was a civil matter since squatters produce a valid or valid looking drawn on crayon rental agreement. Therefore, therefore, they couldn't do anything about it. Now, of course, these guys are calling District Attorney Gascon. They're trying to do something about it but you know what you deal with the multi-year eviction process you deal with the parties you deal with the i have a lease trick that all these other ordinary homeowners all these other ordinary landlords have had to deal with across this country but especially in left-wing cities especially in the state of california because you deserved it because when regular ordinary people complained about crime complained about drug use complained about these kind of situations you said well too bad we're going to keep giving to people like gascon we're going to keep giving to progressive Democrats, and they're never going to do anything for you ordinary people because we, the elite, never have to experience the consequences of what we donate and financially support. Well, now you get to experience it. Now you get to taste it. And I can see as soon as you got a little bit of a sip, it was too much for you. Your luxury beliefs, when you actually have to live up to them, they're not very nice to have hanging around just to show off to your fellow progressive friends. Neighbors say some squatters moved into this mansion located on Beverly Grove Place in October and have now been wreaking havoc on their community ever since. They have parties that have gone from two in the morning till nine the next day, even 10 o'clock the next morning. Neighbors say the cops are often called to the home. I love this. You hear how loud it is in the middle of the night. You see them filming this situation early in the morning, trying to gather evidence and whatnot of the disturbance that these people are causing. Well, guess what? You gave them the God to your rights. You said regular, ordinary private property owners, they can screw off. They can deal with these problems themselves because we got to protect the rights of squatters. So, you know, what? Eat the meal that you prepared for yourself. Enjoy it, LeBron. Enjoy it, Jennifer Lopez. Enjoy it, all you ridiculous celebrities who continually donate to the Democratic Party. They're trespassing in our neighborhood and they're bringing people that come up drunk two in the morning uh, and they'll just show up by the hundreds in that street over there will be full of cars. They're trespassing in our neighborhood. I, I can't stand it. They're bringing drunkards and normal people and they're blocking the street. And honestly, that's for your beaches and for your children to deal with. I actually saw a needle here. That's for your elementary school parks, not for our neighborhood. I mean, we're going to keep donating to the politicians that ensure that that happens over and over again. We're going to make sure they keep giving crack pipes to the homeless. But you know what? You got to keep that in your garbage area. This is our getaway. Now, they come up to this next guy who's posing on a very expensive vehicle. I just love this setup right here. But to be clear, the reason I don't feel bad for this guy is not because he has money, is not because he drives that car. I would love it if these rich people just bought cars and built their nice houses and whatever and left our political system alone. But the fact of the matter is, these are the people that donate to Gascon. These are the people who advocate for defunding the police. The people who never have to actually interact with the police in any serious way because they have their own private security, live in their own gated community, and again, are shocked and chagrined when a drunk person stumbles on their street. Imagine being a regular, ordinary resident of California and thinking about the luxury that it is to have a couple of drunk people stumbling on your street when you have people sleeping all over the streets every night. Look at the 10 cities in Los Angeles. Just look at how bad it's gotten for the ordinary people that they have to deal with each and every day, and think about them with, again, 
just a taste of the medicine that they've been serving up to the general public. John Woodward IV is the listing broker on the property. I was selling this house and I came up here when the pool man called me and he said people are moving in. Do you still need me? Woodward says he came up to the property to find that the locks and gate code had been changed and people illegally living in the home. He says he called the cops who arrived and spoke to the people inside. They came up with a fake lease and said uh, that they've leased the property. I said, no, you didn't. I'm the broker. And ever since then, they have lived in the property and the court won't cut off the utilities because they say squatters have rights. Isn't that great? Isn't that fantastic? They produce a fake lease even in this wealthy neighborhood. You have the broker right there. He was called by the pool guy. By the way, obviously they fired the pool guy because they're not cleaning that pool anymore. And then he shows up that very day that they're moving in. They have a fake lease and the police show up and they say, you know what? It's a civil matter. This is a matter for the civil courts. You're going to have to evict them. They've been here 10 minutes and they have a lease that was clearly printed out in a printer inside the home and of course signed with crayon and therefore they have the God tier rights that you, the broker, you, the property owner, never have. Now, you're going to find out who actually owns this property, you're going to find out how ridiculous and absurd that they still have to evict these people in just a little bit. But trust me, the story gets better before we even get to that point. Woodward tells us the original owner was a doctor who defrauded Medicare out of millions of dollars and then fled the country. The mansion was placed in criminal court and ordered to be sold so the profits could help pay back Medicare. They know for an absolute fact that the owner of this property is somebody who committed Medicare fraud, a doctor. So a court actually ordered the seizure of this home after he fled the country because they're going to sell it in order to pay the debt back to Medicare or at least some of the debt back to Medicare. And guess what? Somehow, even though the feds own this property, basically, it's owned by the court, everybody understands it's not supposed to be leased out to anyone. They're drawn on crayon lease because squatters have God tier rights supersedes that. Just think about how stupid you have to write your tenant landlord laws in a state for this to be the case. Just think about how absurd this is in every possible way that you know for a fact that this is subject to a criminal possession or criminal repossession. It is meant to be sold to pay back the federal government. The court orders are as clear as day. And yet you still have to go through the eviction court because squatters showed up four minutes ago. And guess what? They are granted the God tier rights because of their fake lease. It's amazing what is going on in some of these states. And I know people are going to say, listen, you got to protect the tenants and all that. I'm just, just just think about how evil the landlords are. And in this case, the landlord is the taxpayer. That is an asset meant to pay back our Medicare system, our tax dollars that were defrauded from us. But the squatters are able to trash it. And guess what's going to happen when they eventually get them out? If they eventually get them out, they're going to have to repair this $5 million home before they sell it because these people are tearing this place up. They're absolutely destroying it, having a good time. And by the way, they're making a ton of money charging entrance fees in order to get into these parties. The court then hired Woodward to sell the property. I'm just waiting for the court to make a decision or somebody to evict the tenants and get my listing back, sell the property. So he's waiting for the court to make a decision right now, which again, is just amazing because he's actually court ordered to sell this property on behalf of the taxpayer, but they still have to go through the eviction thing. And by the way, this segment is actually a couple months old. It's from January. The news stories about the celebrities being outraged by this, it was yesterday. This is still a thing going on right now. They're still in there. Everybody knows it's been widely reported that this home is the property of the taxpayer. It has been seized by the court in order to sell, in order to pay back Medicare, but they're still there months later. This is how out of whack the squatter situation is in certain parts of the country. This is why Ron DeSantis is deserving of the bipartisan praise that he's gotten. And by the way, it was a bipartisan bill for actually restricting the ability for squatters to actually do this, for actually making it a criminal violation to forge these documents to damage the property in an amount over $1,000 became a felony. Because all of this stuff, again, as I've said a million times, is a no-cost crime. The people who steal this mansion are entitled under California law 
to a tenant advocacy lawyer that's going to fight the eviction in court. So we're spending more of our tax dollars to allow these people to make money off of something that is supposed to be sold to pay back the other fraud in our tax dollars. So that is the system that we've actually instituted in some parts of this country. That is how out of hand squatters rights have gotten in this great nation. And I did speak with one of the alleged squatters by phone and he told me that he has a lease and was told by his attorney not to speak with anyone and hung up. <laughs> oh my God. That that honestly, that end point of the segment, the fact that they called the squatter, he picked up. They know, this reporter did the whole segment, that this is the property of the criminal court that's doing the investigation into the Medicare fraud. They understand that this has been adjudicated, but they still just repeat that they have a lease. They just say it, and you gotta go through the attorney, which you should know is being paid for by you. Now, again, don't feel bad at all whatsoever for these major celebrities. They deserve this. They not only likely voted for these candidates, but they donated money to them. They donated money to the Democratic Party, despite the fact that they've been going absolutely insane. This wasn't even a huge problem in the state of Florida by comparison to California or by comparison to the state of Georgia, by comparison to New York and all these other places, including Texas, by the way, where we've seen these squatter situations pop up on a large scale. But they still did something proactive. They cited the stories that were going on. They wondered if they were going to put their own residents in these situations, so they addressed it. In California, where this is a huge problem, they have yet to address it. In New York, where this is a huge problem, they have yet to address it. We've been covering stories about this for actually years on this channel, just more frequently as of late, because they're not doing anything about it and it's getting significantly worse. In fact, they're actually extending more rights to make the God tier rights that the squatters have even higher level rights. And when you realize that these are the people who are actually financially behind these politicians that put this into place, you kind of get what you pay for. You get what you vote for. And we could all have a bit of a laugh as they destroy this property and devalue this neighborhood for these very same celebrities that have decided we're going to support candidates to destroy your property rights so that we at our cocktail parties can talk about how we are so giving and such great humanitarians. This is what you deserve enjoy it lebron honestly you go 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 to china you're more welcome over there you sim for them all the time anyway same is true for all these hollywood people and and go go have fun over there anyway like i said that's all i really have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you like this video show by leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on my social medias support me via the support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about squatting in the, one of the wealthier neighborhoods in this country till next time